Okay, we'll have one since, since you asked. We have one more for you. So uh, there's a story behind this, okay, while they're getting set up for this next thing. So back in December, Jim Stevenson, uh, who I hope is watching on the live stream, uh, came here for a residency. We played some of his music, had a glorious time. In the process, we took him to a football game. And at the football game, he sat in the front row in front of the marching band and uh, got the whole experience. And one of the things uh, that, that he got was uh, uh, we get a lot of first downs. And some of you may know this, that uh, what we've done is we've added in a little bit of a tag. So what the heck? So here we go, guys. So you ready? So, so the, the team uh, gets farther down the field, and Dan Michaels up in the booth says, and that's another Bison first out. Whoa, move those chains. And then we play. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, so Jim, of course, it's the bison, which means that Jim heard that thing probably 40,000 times at the game. Uh, he went back home, and we saw each other a couple of weeks later in Chicago at the Midwest Band Clinic. And I went to the booth where he was uh, working, and he says, I have something for you. And I uh, came back, and, and uh, he uh, handed me, uh, he had gotten his fill so much of that tune as an earworm he went back home to Chicago, and in five days he wrote a march and gave it to us. And so this is called Eyes on the Bison, and that was so he could remember how to pronounce bison correctly, uh, because he was corrected. And, and uh, so uh, we have a new march that's been dedicated to us, and uh, we thought, what better place than to do this as an encore after La Fiesta Mexana? So here we go, Eyes on the Bison. into the mark, in the break. 